What is up everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in today. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Optolong's brand new dual narrowband filter and one that one-shot color users really may want to consider, especially if you wanna take your astrophotography to the next level. We present to you the Optolong L Synergy. The L Synergy filter is a dual band S203 filter that pairs perfectly with Optolong's L Extreme dual band filter to achieve those beautiful Hubble palette style images. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the L Synergy specifications, how and why it's going to be so transformative for those who use one shot color cameras. And then we're going to take a look at the data that Kurt here from High Point and myself collected. And we're going to create an incredible image of the bubble nebula and the Hubble palette. So you're not going to want to miss this one. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned. The Optolong L Synergy is a 2 inch, 7 nanometer dual narrowband filter designed to isolate two critical emission lines sulfur 2 at 672.4 nanometers and oxygen 3 at 500.7 nanometers. The filter itself features the hobby standard 2 inch M48 filter threads and will work with nearly any filter drawer, focal reducer, field flattener, or coma corrector on the market designed to fit 2 inch filters. So upon announcing the L Synergy filter, Optolong is offering it as a bundle with the L Extreme filter or separately for those who already own an Optolong dual narrowband filter. In addition to this, the L Extreme itself has been upgraded and improved with further halo reduction, and this includes the one within this bundle and those purchased separately from here on out. Optolong has always taken good care of the astronomy community via high quality filters, and upon the release of the L Synergy filter, Optolong has also improved and upgraded their flagship filter, the L Extreme. As a quick test, here is a photo that Kurt captured of the bright star Navi in the constellation of Cassiopeia at f3.9. All right, so now let's get into the meat and potatoes. How exactly does this filter transform astrophotography for one-shot color users? Well, let's get into it. First, we need to talk about the L Extreme filter very briefly to understand its role in this entire process. While these filters are great for creating those red, blue, HOO style images, it can be somewhat tricky to create an SHO style image out of this filter alone, especially if your target is faint or lacks that good strong O3 emission. The HA data being red typically overpowers any of that teal O3 signal that helps really create a dynamic image. Now there are post-processing techniques like separating your RGB channels from the HA O3 data that you collected and processing those to create a faux SHO style image, but this can be inconvenient as there is no actual S2 data from an HA03 filter. So essentially you're just creating faux S2 data to create an SHO image. Not very fun. The L Synergy filter completely changes this approach. By pairing this filter with the L Extreme, you can now combine the data to map the S2 data from your Synergy filter to red, your HA data from the L Extreme to green, and your O3 from both filters to blue to create a vibrant and nearly monochrome identical SHO palette image. In addition to this, Optolong states that their 3 nanometer L Ultimate filter and their 12 nanometer L Enhance filter work in place of the L Extreme should you already have one of these dual band filters. All right, so now we get to take a look at the data that we collected. Kurt, gear expert and astrophotographer here at High Point, set out to collect data with his L Extreme filter on the Bubble Nebula using the 8 inch Carbon Star Imaging Newtonian along with his 585 MC Pro. I, on the other hand, use the ASCAR 103 APO and the 2600 MC Air, and I collected data using the L Synergy filter. We briefly showed you the star Navi through Kurt's Newtonian to demonstrate the lack of halos in the new L Extreme filter. Here is a single five minute exposure of that same star through the L Synergy filter that also shows no haloing.
Now, the Bubble Nebula sits around 7,100 light years away, and it gets its name from the pronounced round bubble shape created by the powerful winds of the massive star. It's only about 7 light years across, but it makes for a very striking target when paired with the proper long focal length telescope. This first image here is 13 hours of data collected through the L Synergy filter. The central area of the bubble is a vibrant blue where the ionized oxygen is present, and there's also some nice detail in the surrounding sulfur 2 regions. There's a lot more signal here than we expected, so I'm very impressed with this filter so far. Kurt's data was equally impressive. With just four hours of data, the amount of detail in the bubble through his L Extreme filter is fantastic, as is the amount of HA data in the surrounding area. The L Extreme filter paired with the 8 inch Newtonian did a fantastic job of collecting that sharp signal that we'll be using for our HA data, as well as some surrounding O3 data, and the L Synergy filter paired with the ASCAR 103 did a great job of collecting more O3 data, as well as that sharp S2 data that we were looking for. So now that we've collected our data, how do we use it? Well, I'm going to jump into PixInsight and show you very briefly how we process this data to transform our astronaut photo. All right, so here we are in PixInsight. It might look like we have a lot to go over, but again, this is just a very brief demonstration on how we combine the L Synergy with the L Extreme. So first, let's take a look at the S203 data that we have here. The first thing that I did was create a starless image, and from here, I extracted the red, green, and blue channels. We have the red, the green, and the blue channel. Now the sulfur data is coming from the red channel. So I simply renamed the red channel S2. This is an exact replica of our red channel, just renamed. So this right here is our S2 data. Now I did the same thing for our HA data. Here's the HA03 image from the L Extreme. The first thing that I did was create a starless image and then extract the RGB, the R channel. Here's the green channel and the blue channel. The green and the blue are oxygen-3 emissions, and the red channel is our HA data. So I simply renamed our red channel, HA, and now we have our HA data. Move this aside. So we have S2 and HA. So now we need to create an O3 image to go with our S2 and HA image. The green channel and the blue channel from the L Synergy filter looked crisp, but seeing that Kurt used a bigger telescope with his L Extreme filter, we're gonna be using this data right here to create an O3 image. Now you can do that by going to pixel math and running a simple expression. The HA03B channel plus the HA03 green channel and dividing that by two to get an average. And when we do that, we get our O3 master image. So now we have our HA, our O3, and our S2 data right here, just like we would with a monochrome imaging system. Now we need to combine these to create a master SHO image. By LRGB combination, map the S2 to red, the HA to green, and the O3 to blue. And when we run this, we should have a nice SHO image of the bubble nebula. And as you can see here, you have the beautiful oranges and of the sulfur, you have the greens and the blues from the hydrogen, in the oxygen data. This looks fantastic, just like a monochrome image should. Now, Kurt and I have different processes and different ways that we handle this data, so let's take a look at the final images that Kurt and I created of the Bubble Nebula. As a dedicated astrophotographer, I've personally always loved shooting with a monochrome camera 
because I'm able to create these beautiful Hubble palette images. I always felt limited with a color camera and a dual band filter. While color cameras are convenient and they have their place in astrophotography, using a dual band filter didn't give me the results out of my astro images that I wanted until the S203 Synergy filter came along from Optolong. Filters like this revolutionize astrophotography for one-shot color users. It makes post-processing much easier and much simpler and allows you to create those stunning astro photos that you see all the time created by monochrome camera users. So that is it for our full review on the Optolong L Synergy filter. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments and we'll be more than happy to assist. Take a look in the link in the description and it'll take you directly to the L Synergy webpage on the High Point Scientific website. Again, my name is Tegan. Thank you so much for tuning in and clear skies. Mm -hmm.